press statements by their excellencies, the ministers of foreign affairs of Cyprus and Serbia. Your Excellency, dear Marco, I'm delighted to welcome you and your delegation to Cy uh, Cyprus. This is our first official meeting, but we already had a number of informal contacts uh, since uh, you assumed office. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to reaffirm the continuity of our excellent relations and to declare once again the political will to enhance them. Uh, on this basis and within this context, I'll be making four uh, quick points. First, during our first uh, part of the consultations, uh, the robust nature of the historic bilateral relation has been linked with the determination to politically continue towards further enhancing and advancing the cooperation. Cooperation in fields like tourism, defense, education, culture, investment, and research. It is also noted that this visit, this, this visit comes as the first follow-up of the third Serbia-Cyprus Intergovernmental Summit that took place in Belgrade in November 2023. Secondly, I, develop, I, be, I briefed the Minister on the latest developments as regards the Cyprus problem, and I start by expressing in public as well our deep appreciation for the principal stand that Serbia has been keeping in relation to this uh, matter. Our position is clear, and I'm going to repeat it once again. Uh, we are ready for negotiations on a viable and lasting solution on the basis of the UN Security Council resolutions for a bizonal, bicommunal federation with political equality as provided in those Security Council resolutions. We will not be moving outside that framework. Third, I reiterated Cyprus support uh, for Serbia's EU accession process, a process that lies in parallel with the European perspective of the Western Balkans, and we remain ready to provide any technical support to Serbia uh, that is needed. We also welcome and encourage Serbia's efforts to proceed with the necessary reforms that will widen the path towards achieving full membership. Lastly, I reiterated Cyprus' principal position towards Serbia, which is grounded in the principles of international law regarding territorial integrity and respect for sovereignty. We support the EU-facilitated dialogue between Bel Belgrade and Pristina, and we welcome Serbia's consistent, constructive engagement, which unfortunately is not being reciprocated. Therefore, our, I expressed our concern regarding first the stalemate in the negotiations and secondly the unilateral and highly obstructive actions by Pristina. Dear Minister, dear Marco, Cyprus and Serbia have been proven numerous times to be a valuable, to be valuable, reliable friends, predictable partners, especially in times of uncertainty. Rest assured that this is something on which we'll be continuing to work together making uh, this relationship develop in order to fully explore all the untapped potential that still remain. I look forward to the continuation of our deliberations, and I look forward to welcoming you and the Serbian delegation in Nicosia for the fourth intergovernmental summit between our two countries. Thank you.